for over 20 years. I've led a research partnership with Adidas that has allowed us to apply cutting edge science, technology and engineering to the development of new products that have been brought to market by Adidas. It's been, been a great journey for me. It's been the most important partnership, if you like, of my career. I never dreamt that I would get to, to look into the science of some of the sports products that we have in such depth. So the projects we've undertaken have, have, have varied from football products, like the balls that are used in major tournaments, through footwear, through clothing, that have allowed us to really apply best practice in engineering to the design and development of sports products. The industry academia partnership and collaboration, I think has really been a key part of our success because of just the, the number of different perspectives involved, be it from an academic or an experimental side and the depth that we can cover there. Industry can be very short term, whereas working with academia, um, you've got people who are thinking of what we're going to need years ahead of us being able to articulate it or describe what the project is. We're in the business of innovating the best sports products and I think we have to have those eureka moments. You should apply for the Bhattacharya Award because it gives you a really good opportunity I think to reflect on you know a great legacy uh, that, that you've built between academia and industry. So it's um, a significant award from a renowned Royal Academy of Engineering that recognises something that's not easy to do. It's great recognition. I'm absolutely thrilled to announce that our first winner is Loughborough University and Adidas. For us to be chosen as winners, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's taken my breath away, really. Our next steps are going to be pretty much to carry on doing what we've been doing, to um, see the opportunities out of challenges and to follow our noses and have some fun. So uh, let's move on to our next topic, which is on uh, Adidas partnership and cutting edge sports research. So your long-standing partnership with Adidas has recently been recognized with the Royal Academy of Engineering Bhattacharya Award for the best UK industry academia partnership. So could you share some insights into the application of cutting edge sports research in a collaboration with Adidas and mm. how this research contribute to making sports safer, more accessible and enhance athlete performance? Yeah. Um... So, 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 yeah, we were really pleased to 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 win the award um, last year from the Royal Academy of Engineering. Uh, we were surprised, pleasantly surprised, um, but but really, really grateful. So, it's been a it, the first thing to notice. It's been a, a a real team effort, both within our university, but also within the company. Um, it's involved. Oh, I don't know. Probably, probably forty or fifty people on on both sides over a twenty year period. So. Um, and, and you know what? It, it's been fun. Uh, and, and I know I'm probably not supposed to say that. That's not probably what I'm supposed to say as the first thing, but it has. It's been engaging. It's 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 allowed us to meet some really interesting people, to be faced with some really interesting problems and to support each other um, o over that 20 year period. Um, a big part of it, actually, looking back, has been uh, an educational piece. You know, those of us that were around at the beginning of that um have changed immeasurably you know we are um we, we we've been fortunate enough to to be exposed to so many interesting questions and and be able to get in our labs be able to get out in the field with athletes and and and, and test run experiments um, design experiments explore analyze results and learn from it um and you know we we've conducted many many phd programs um alongside it so you know there's now a probably 30 individuals out there who have doctorates all of whom have benefited from being part of um the research into sports equipment that's been done between the company and and, and, and Loughborough, both in in my group which is largely engineering and then there's a uh, an environmental physiology group also at Loughborough led by Professor George Havanath which is which is world class in 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 the work that they're doing so understanding how human physiology um is affected by the equipment that they're using the clothes they're wearing the environments that they're performing in and and, and so on um and so you know the cross-disciplinary nature of bringing experts um together from different backgrounds I use the phrase uh, confident humility quite a lot 
And that is to say that, that you know, when we've been through our training and, and, and uh, we, we've had the experiences that we have, um, we've earned the right to be confident, to speak clearly and factually, objectively about those areas that we are expert in. And we shouldn't be shy about our expertise, but we should be incredibly humble <laughs> when the question um, extends beyond our expertise. And at that point, we need to get experts, other experts in the room, and we need to listen to them. <laughs> uh, and, and I think that's one of the benefits of uh, one of the things we've we've learned and we've been able to put into practice is one of the reasons why we've had so many people involved in these projects is that is that we have um, needed to go beyond to get specific expertise. Um, and we've worked with people who who um, are, are similar to us from different areas so so they're interested in applying what they know confidently but also learning what we can bring into into um, projects like that and i think whether that's um adidas in sport um or or any discipline in engineering or perhaps any discipline beyond engineering um the reality is that one person is very unlikely that one person is going to have the answer on there by themselves and, and the way in which we engage with other people the way in which we create environments that are in, that are welcoming and, and open to challenge from expertise beyond what we know and the way that we create uh, partnerships that bring the best out of each other i think is is it's it's a very hu fundamental human skill if you like um you know i i make a joke sometimes that i got into engineering so i didn't have to deal with people um, um, but, but that's turned completely on its head, um, that actually I've realized to be the best engineer I can, I have to go out there and deal with people both, both in my, in my world and my, my, my subject area of sport, clearly people are central to that. So I've, so I, so I have to embrace what human beings bring to sport fundamentally, but also in, in, in the workplace teams that we put together. We have to understand people. We have to understand what motivates people and what, 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 uh, how different um, people work in different domains, and create environments that allow them all to to contribute. We haven't solved that problem. We're not perfect by any means, but I think we've learned a little bit about how you can head towards um, trying to get that right. So, so those are my um, sort of broader reflections on the Adidas um, partnership. Um, beyond that. It's been really fun to to be able to go to a sports store and pick up a shoe and say, oh, you know, I, I know why that looks like it does. Or, it, you know, if it wasn't for work done at Loughborough, that might be a little bit different. Or the same with footballs, um, to be able to go and, you know, watch a game knowing that the ball that's being used in that match um, would be slightly different if it wasn't for the, for the research we've done. It's very visible and it's, uh, you know, and then I become a fan just like anybody else and lose myself in the, in the, in the, in the sport. Um, and it's just nice to be able to reflect on the fact that we've, we've, we've played a part in that so, to some tiny, tiny amount. Uh, Professor Harlan, conversing with you today has really opened our eyes on how engineering or physics in general can be applied in a novel manner within the sports industry. In fact, I believe that it corrected our misconception that we are coming into this discussion today about the roles available in this industry. Like your sharing today has really allowed us to understand that the sports industry is actually a multifaceted intersectional industry where there are various roles ranging from like researching the material sciences to those who investigate the biomechanics in the sport. You really made us realize that there's always a place for which our STEM knowledge can be applied in the whole gamut of the sports industry. Uh, beyond that, I think you also tapped in on the pertinence of the issue of sustainability in uh, the production of technology in the sports industry too, which is one of the key tenets for which Project Pascal was based off of. So we really do also believe that in this day and age, it is our onus to start developing more eco-friendly, sustainable technological alternatives. So thank you so much, Professor Holland, for your invaluable contributions to our discussion today. Your expertise and insights have provided a deeper understanding of the transformative role of technology in sports. We extend our gratitude for, uh, to you for gracing us with your presence and sharing your profound insights. 
we re really look forward to continuing our exploration of technology, revolutionizing sports. So thank you all for joining us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.